Brother Tanzeem Ahmed has asked the question that if the Fajr Salah has started and if you come late, should you join the Jama directly or pray the two Raka Sunnah first and then join the Jama? I know there are many Muslims, especially in the Indian subcontinent, etc., where if the Fajr Salah has started, they don't join the Salah, they pray to Raka Sunnah and then join. There's a hadith of the beloved Prophet Sallallahu which says that the two Raka Sunnah Salah before the Fajr is more valuable than the earth and the wealth in it. So based on this hadith, people don't want to miss the two Raka Sunnah before the Fajr Salah, before the Fajr Salah. And there's a hadith which says that after the Fajr Salah, there is no other Salah. And af- until, until the sun has risen. And after the Asr Salah, there is no Salah until the sun has set. So based on this, because you cannot pray after Fajr. And two Raka Sunnah is very important. There are some people who don't join the Jama. They pray two Raka Sunnah and then they join the Jama. The ruling in Islam is if the f- congregation has started. And if you have not prayed that Salah of that congregation, you have to join. You cannot pray Sunnah first. You have to pray the f- Fajr first the Fard Salah first because the Fard is a compulsory Salah. The Sunnah is optional even though it may be rewarding. So you cannot delay the Fard to offer your Sunnah. And there is Hadith of the Prophet that once the Prophet when he finished his Fajr Salah, he saw one of the Sahabas he started reading to Raqqa. So he asked him and he told him that after the Fajr Salah, there is no Sunnah. So the Sahaba replied that I had come late. I missed my Sunnah. So I am praying the Sunnah I missed. And the Prophet was silent. When Prophet is silent, it means the Prophet gave approval. So if the Fajr Salah has started and if you come a bit late, what you should do is join the Fajr Salah. And after the Fajr Salah is over, you can pray the Sunnah. Though normally praying Sunnah after the Fajr is not permitted. But if there is a valid reason that you missed it, you can pray. The Hadith in Bukhari that the Prophet prayed Turaqa Sunnah after even the Asr Salah. And when he was asked, he said that some people came during the Zuhar Salah and I could not pray my Sunnah after the Zuhar Salah. So he prayed after the Asr. Normally praying after Asr is not advisable, you should not pray, but if there is a valid reason, you can pray. If you are doing tawaf, there is salatul tawaf. So some people, if they are doing tawaf after asr, they do the tawaf, but don't read the two rakah salatul tawaf. What they do, they wait for maghrib salah, after maghrib salah they read. No, if there is a reason, then if you are doing tawaf after asr, there is no problem, there is no harj. You can pray the two rakah sunnah of salatul tawaf after asr, before sunset you can do because there's a valid reason. Hope that answers this question.